It's also really interesting to note this idea that more must always be better. That the bigger the dollar sign is, the bigger your heart is. You know, and there's this, there's this notion that if we want to cut back on programs, and in many cases, if you notice, and we'll, as you noted, and we'll get to this, what a cut really means, but just because you might want to cut down on, on something that isn't benefiting the American people, that you're now anti-science or anti-healthcare, that's a moral, that is a moral accusation. That's an accusation against our intentions. And that's not right. We have different views of how we should spend this money. It really is as simple as that. I want to give you an opportunity again to explain to us, because there's been a lot of confusion over this, what a cut is versus what slowing growth is. So it's been noted over and over again that maybe we, we should reform the, 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 the pattern of growth on Medicaid and Medicare. Are we actually cutting these programs? Because as you've said it over and over again, but I want to clarify, these programs seem to be increasing their budget every single year. Pretty drastically, actually. They are, Congressman, and, and we would have this, uh, I, I think, a similar definition of a cut, which is that a dollar amount increasing, a dollar amount less than the previous year, not a dollar amount less than a projection from someone from the year before. Well, I would just hope that we could have honest conversations about this because your regular listener who's watching the news and watching the lies being told on media that we're cutting programs. What they're thinking is, hey, we spent $100 on it this year, and next year we're spending $90 on it. But that's not true, is it? No. That's unfortunate. I, I, I wish we could have an honest conversation, and I wish people would understand you know, why we might want to reform some of these programs. Social Security Disability Insurance. Why would I want to reform that? Maybe because I was eligible for it. I was eligible to get thousands of dollars of taxpayer money as soon as I retired from the military. Federal government told me I should get on that. The military told me I should get on that program. I am not disabled. I have a thing going on here, kind of a disability, but I am not disabled. I should not get that money. But that program says I should. There's something wrong there. I'm perfectly capable of working.